living an absolute dream! Absolute dream! The seas are flat. The weather is impeccable. The crew are happy. The food is good. Welcome to the Seychelles! Phew. So we just flew in from um, South Africa last night, went Cape Town to Joburg, and then on to Mahe. So we're here now, very hot and humid and wet. Um, our friend's plane's just arrived. Oh, there's someone. So we're gonna go to the airport now and pick him up. And then we're going to bring to Pralin. So that'll be fun. Welcome to the land of the funny looking nut. <laughs> <laughs> Seasick Linda. <laughs> Seasick Lisa Marie. Tired. 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 Okay, we'll, we'll take tired as an excuse. Tired.
Good morning, kids. Hey! Um, so after last night's torrential downpour, squall slash best holiday ever. You did it so well. Dude. We um had a few drinks last night, a Just couple of rum. And One bottle. Got up early this morning and came ashore here at Kurusei Island where there's giant tortoises. So the plan now, I think, is probably get drunk. No? No, oh, not get drunk. Swim time. Swim time. So I'll go back to the boat, have a swim. Uh, I just want to bathe in a pool of San Pellegrino because I'm oh, very hot. Um, yeah, that's it. Really. Hello. A lot of crabs, a lot of seashells, huh. and a rat in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Be as well. It better be because we've waited till the sun came out. <laughs> Just on our way to Sauce something. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's the, probably the, it is currently the world's most beautiful beach. And we're just here with our friends cycling. Most beautiful day, sunny, 
all happy, no more rain. Yay! <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, hmm. Think of the beach. Bloody amazing. Very good. Cocktails, very cheap. Um, water is extremely warm and people are very friendly. Everything you can expect from the beach cell. <laughs> La digue. Right, plan is now we're gonna just ride around the bikes a bit and then we're gonna go to happy hour. We're doing cheap cocktails and rum and we're gonna get <laughs> no just have a couple i got real burnt today so that's no good but just have a couple of cocktails and forget about it yeah should be rates what when a race oh no i'm losing that friend from yesterday, Duncan, you remember me? Hi! Oh, oh, oh Duncan! There's that little doggy. Bye, Bye Duncan! High five! High five! Good boy! Good boy! Okay. I wanted to take Duncan yesterday with us. Apparently, I wasn't allowed. But here he is, alive and well. Why couldn't we take Duncan? Because he's a stinky dog. He's not a stinky dog. Why couldn't we take Duncan? Why weren't we allowed? You can take Duncan. Oh. Duncan won't fit on the boat though, there's no stakes. We'll just have to lose one of the non-essential crew. <laughs>
to uh, those beaches we found last yesterday afternoon. It's quite sheltered back there and the beaches look really nice. The water's nice and clear. So I think we're gonna anchor up there today, have some breakfast, and then just enjoy the Seychelles, basically. Just gonna get out of this port first, and that's the, after that we'll see what's happening. Just arrived in paradise. Check out that beach. So it's about an hour and a half sail down here. Just dropped the anchor, had some breakfast, had some tea. Um, we're just gonna enjoy the day now. A little bit of swimming, snorkeling. Um, but let me show you around the boat first thing. Let's have a look around. We come into the main salon, basically where we play cards and just hang out at night. Off to the starboard side, we've got our first cabin. Uh, we also happen to store our bags in here over the day, which is quite handy. Uh, this particular sailing yacht's front sack is actually a Janu Sun Odyssey 409. So coming around to the port side, we have another cabin. These are actually small double beds, but they tuck in underneath the seating on the deck, which is very handy, it keeps them out of the way. So we come back through the main salon. On the port side, we've got our nav area. We've got our radio, the HF radio, all the electronics and where we do our nav chart work. Moving forward, we come to the V-berth forward cabin. And this cabin also has its own toilet or ensuite, which is quite handy to have a two toilets on a boat of this size. Coming back through the main salon, we come to the galley where we have our fridge, oven, stove top and basically everything we need to prepare meals on a trip like this. Thank you. 
Five turn. Step four. Step five. Lost track. Step five. Thirty-two. Step five. Step five. Just about to go sandy. And the boys are just putting up the main. We're going to take the boat for a spin. See what it's made of. Yeah. Foot left. Half foot. Morning. <laughs> oh, hey there. Morning, day four. That's them sailing off now into the sunset. Just jumped in the boat to get some photos. And now I'm in the middle of the ocean in a very small boat with uh, a broken engine cord. So that'll be interesting. Uh, I hope they come back. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. We'll see.
day it is, to be honest. No concept of time or date. But I think that's the point of being in a place like this. To sort of just enjoy the, the nature and the yacht and enjoy being here. We've been very lucky with the weather as well. So on the first day we had a big squall, a storm came through. And ever since then we thought we were going to have rain every day. Uh, but aside from that, and a couple of showers on the second day, it's just been honestly incredible. Sort of mid 20s, early 30s. Humidity's quite high, but you know the water's 27 degrees. It's so nice to swim in, um, and you're never far from an amazing spot all to yourself. Um, I'll definitely be back here. It's been incredible. Anyway, gotta get back out on deck. Your opinions on the uh, Sun Odyssey 3049? get into Grand Anser, let's show this one. You need to follow a course of zero to eight degrees, but all of these are coral heads. And then we've got half a meter of water under the keel, which I'm not happy about, or water generally. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna sail past Cousin Island, and then we're gonna have to work our way around, and then hopefully somewhere in here be sheltered enough. Otherwise, we'll be heading maybe back to Kurasi for the night. Um, but that's all fun of it. Uh, let me just work this out and um, we'll see where we end up. And they love you. Anything Boston. Boston? Don't feel anything good about that.
Besen. The egg is gonna be interesting. Sailing back to Curacao where we had sheltered the storm on the first night marked the end of our Seychelles sailing adventure. Following day, we reluctantly returned from Sac and Pralin. During our short time in the Seychelles, we had circumnavigated Pralin, dived around and cycled through the dig, met some of the oldest animals on earth through the giant tortoise, and used the steady trade winds to explore beaches and reefs far beyond the reach of the normal tourist. We were often the only ones around. The Seychelles are truly characterized by majestic seascapes, and unparalleled beauty. I'll certainly be back.